I bet when you tuned in, you had some expectations about, think about it. I'm sure if you tune in regularly, you have certain expectations. And we need to look at that very word, expectations. What are your expectations? Um, in any relationship, you've got two people or just people who bring a myriad of experiences, uh, viewpoints, um, trials, tribulations, trouble, things that have made them who they are. And so they come with expectations. They come with expectations. And the question becomes, are yours realistic or unrealistic? All right. You, have, you ever said to your significant other, I love you. And they said, that's good. How did that make you feel? I've, I've asked people about that, and I've got some, some very interesting replies. And one person said, how dare they say that's good? But were they wrong? Why did you expect them to reciprocate that statement? Why did they even have to? You made your point and your statement, and they simply said, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. Isn't it amazing how offensive that can be because of your expectations? Um, if you give someone a birthday gift, why do they have to give you one back? Why do people feel that whatever they do must be reciprocated? Are those reasonable expectations or simply your expectations? And so we need to ask ourselves some tough questions. So I just went to, 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 to research. So I'm just going to share some research, okay? It's not my opinion. And then you can draw some lines of demarcation for yourself. Now I said, these are 10 reasonable expectations. Mutual trust in each other, equal commitment to create a passionate relationship, shared affection and appreciation, empathy towards experiences and emotions, friendship and admiration in the relationship, Okay, mutual understanding and compromise, respect for differences, a satisfying connection, quality time, shared kindness and generosity, reasonable expectations. Where does that fit in, in, in your game plan? Those are reasonable expectations. But these were considered unreasonable expectations that we could look at and say, okay, you know, am I making unrealistic expectations a major part of my relationship? No arguing is a sign of a good relationship. Unrealistic. Always know why and what you are feeling. Unrealistic. In terms of us figuring each other out. We're different, and we just don't feel the same about everything. Always be available when you are in distress. Unrealistic. No friends of the same sex that are attracted to, that they're attracted to. I mean, opposite sex that they're attracted to. Unrealistic. All right? Always spending all your free time together is considered an unrealistic expectation. Always in agreement with you. Unrealistic. Always needing to provide solutions. Unrealistic. Always forcing partner to change to avoid distress. Never changing appearance. Unrealistic. Now, we have to ask ourselves, are we, just because we're in a wonderfully good, healthy relationship, are we placing unnecessary pressure on our significant others in our relationship. Why am I responsible for your happiness? How do I just make you responsible for my happiness? Why can't that be each of our responsibility to our own self and then we share that with one another? So we have to ask ourselves, are we placing more pressure on our significant others to make us better? Or are we trying to make ourselves better so we can be a greater joy to the significant other? Is it really possible that I have unrealistic expectations for the very person that I say I love 
and adore. So we have to be real careful. We have to be honest, we have to be open, and we have to realize you're the primary investor and you're the primary person that that secures your happiness. And then you share that with the one you love. Could it possibly be that we actually have a lot of unrealistic expectations? Think about it. 